Oh, I'm dead. Wow. Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time, well, we went to Canva, we rescued Mid, and uh, Byron and Gavin, all them. However, we ran into, uh, well, first of all, we ran into Har Harbard, or whatever the heck his name is. Barnabas' is bestie. That was a really fun How fight. Are supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a Shut up! I'm trying to do my intro. It's very rude. Very rude. Uh, as I was saying, yes, we fought him. Super fun fight. Then uh, we were just about to leave, and Barnabas decided, you know what? Doors are overrated. I'm just gonna slash through this entire building, which was such a badass scene. He then proceeded to kick our ass. In the ensuing chaos, Jill provided a bit of a distraction slash ice barrier so that we could get away. However, it seems that Jill is now in the custody of Barnabas. So, while there may be about 517 Badillion quests available to us right now, and I'm sure some of them will be interesting, I'm, I just want to keep going with the story because I just... I need to know if Jill's going to be okay. Uh, we do, however, have the payback quest to finish off with Karen. We need to go see her anyway, because she's got some new stock. As well as, uh, it looks like we've got some new weapons, maybe. New gear, and some new hunts. So, um, we're going to go check those out before we chat to Otto. Uh, I am going to quickly have a word with um, Goat, though, because I, I think... Fancy a look at the list, do you? We must have, um... Oh, we can chat about recent events again. Probably the whole Barnabas thing, right? I don't mean to be gloomy. Oh, the world's gone to shit. Okay, Akashic attacks, plagues of bloody bandits, curse breakers all over our allies. Da, 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 okay, super, super fascinating. Uh, goat, whatever your name is. Quickly check go. the reports for great justice, too. Oh. That's in Lost Wing. We might do that side quest just because I'm quite curious if that's, um, what's his name? Which it probably is. Shit, what was his name? The guy. The guy that turned out to be, like, a little bit of a psychopath. Uh, we might do that one. But there's just there's so many. Rekindling the flame. Oh my god, there's six quests in Dalmechia. There's six. Now, none of those have a plus sign, so they're probably not going to unlock anything for us. These still might be worth doing, but again, we're not going to worry about them right now. Not going to worry about them right now. What's, um, actually, how close am I to my next renown? How may I help reward? you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Not too far off. Not too far off, but it's it's just an orchestrian roll and some amber, which we don't really need right now. The talisman of priming is something I'm interested in, but that's still a Best ways of off. So. There, Sid. That's fine. Right, Nectar. Someone been posting more hunts. Let's have a look. Oh, I did not mean to did not mean to press that one. Oh, so yeah, we beat the uh, the pack of wolves last time. Obviously, we've still got freaking Svarog. Uh, but we've got a Dread Comet, which is a chocobo with an amazing color scheme. The hunters of Tabor speak of a wild chocobo that hunts not only the nearby badlands, or haunts, uh, but also their dreams, for it exhibits a ferocity rarely seen in the species and has ripped more than a dozen of the comrades from gizzard to groin. Ooh! Oh, imagine getting your groin pecked by a chocobo. Oh, I just... I winced at that. Uh, feasted on their flesh. The bird is far past, uh, past taming. It must... Uh, it must needs be put down. Okay. The sickle. Dalmechia, where is the sickle? I forget where the sickle is. We... We will go try that at some point soon, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, let's go quickly hand in this quest. We got that. It was an army of Akashic. What will happen to Mid and the others? They'll be fine as long as Sid is... Oh, we've already heard them. One thing we need to address as well, which the game hasn't addressed yet, but Dion has vanished. 
He's off wandering about somewhere. Now, we're on an island, kind of, technically. So, he can't really... Well, unless he did just t transform into Bahamut. But, at the same time, people would notice that, right? Bahamut's pretty big. So, I don't know how, if he will have escaped the hideaway. He can't have, unless he did just steal a boat, which I guess he could have done. Um, oh, by the way, Luke and Lark's tongue, a.k.a. Spoonie, I think you might have... Uh, Kind of a reluctant admirer, actually. She didn't... She didn't seem like she was too chuffed about you being the only one left, but, um... Toggle's chilling with you, that's cool. Oh, did, um... I think we may have heard this song. Can we get a bit more upbeat? Can we get some, like... You know... Some sea shanties or something going on? Yet still... Unto the mast oh. and bellowed. Damn, that, that went places, didn't it? Is he talking about Dion? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that guy's still in enjoying his stew. Let's uh speak to Karen. Lady Karen. Goad tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? More or blood. I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Uh, of course not. But one good turn deserves another, and our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. <laughs> so she's just going to pawn it off and give us the money for it anyway. Okay, well, whatever you want to do, Karen. I ain't, I ain't going to argue with her. Couldn't if I tried. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. Thousand talents? A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Oh. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty's only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. You talk about Isabel? She talk about Isabel, right? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we done? I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. Uh. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh, I, I, I still haven't been paid. Last month's wages. Maybe don't bring that up right now. Oh! So you remember what's owed to you, then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledgers are square. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Oh! Either out of habit. All because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. <laughs> I knew so little about him. Like most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <laughs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died? Twenty summers, give or take. It's a long time. Back in the day. I was a purser on a trade ship, which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close, promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was before fate stepped in 
and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day, Ooh. and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable, wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt, and I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me, and it was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. He was such a... Oh, Sid, I miss him. I bloody miss him. <gasps> no, we get a flashback. He was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him. Ready to catch the stubborn sod, if ever he should fall. Oh, I miss him. I was hoping we'd hear him speak, actually. I, mi I just miss his voice. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. Oh. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. Oh. This note. Hmm. What about it? You're gonna want to read it. Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. We should have. Bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. <sighs> but then why would he? Him or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> Would you rather go with the helm? 
Well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. Yeah, don't be retiring just yet. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. But that this will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Oh, oh. This is so good, man. Okay, right. Can I just can I just say I had no idea that that side quest, which took us a fair bit of time to do, mostly because I, I kept getting interrupted by story stuff, but I had no inkling that that would lead to such a beautiful scene with Otto. And that, again, is, is quite common, I, I feel like, in this game. The side quests may be quite mundane and fairly by the numbers, but they, they give you something so rich with character development as payoff. More more than the actual loot, which again, could be better, let's be honest. But man, I mean, I think this game has nailed character and story. Like, I, I, I just, that was brilliant. And we got to Sid's Goblet, so uh, I won't have it said that I'm a poor host. Oh man. They have. They've absolutely bloody nailed the characters in this game. Phenomenal. And again, that, that's what makes it so difficult for me to say, right, I'm not going to do any side quests for a while, because there probably is quite a lot of cool stuff hidden in them. But, uh, you know, the, the main plot, I, I just have to see it through. I have to. And that's kind of how I would play this for the first time if I wasn't recording it as well. I probably wouldn't do all the side quests in my first playthrough. I very rarely do that in a game because when it comes to something like this, I do. I want to see the story through. And, um, you know, too many side things can kind of take the momentum out of a story. Which is why I've really struggled with the recent Assassin's Creed games because they're just too damn big and... But you know what I mean? So, I, again, I hope you guys don't mind that we won't be doing every single side quest now. Um, but that's just kind of the way I feel I want to play this game. So, we'll uh, we'll do what we can. And again, we'll probably do some bonus stuff as well. But for now, I reckon we will go probably speak to Watto again. Um, oh, no, I did have a letter. If it's not and I want to check in on uh, Blackthorn as well, actually. So... Let's have a word. To what do I owe the honor? Do you have any new weapons? Oh, you, dear. Ooh. Rune blade. Hmm. It's actually quite a bit better. And it's only plus one, so I'm guessing I could actually reinforce it. Yeah, rune blade two. Which is gonna be twenty-five attack and stagger. That's pretty great. I think uh, I think we'll make a rune blade. Should last you a good while. There we go. And plus two, please. Yeah, that should do you. Okay. Now again, I feel like I'm probably beating a dead horse here, but I feel like it would have been great to have more choice with equipment. It really does seem like you're always just going to go for the one that has the the more stats. Which, you know, is fairly standard for an RPG, but it, it would have been nice to have a little bit more to think about with gear and customization. But uh, I will definitely take a new sword, so that's good. Um, do we have... Okay, rune belt. I could probably upgrade that as well. Again, one extra HP. Lower defense. No. No, thank you. If it had some extra buffs on it, like chance to mitigate 20% damage or something like that, then that'd be great, but it doesn't, so I am not going to bother. Um, ooh, Rune Crescents, though. 
That's going to use up our last Sanguine Insignia, which we, uh, we got. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't go for that. Okay, let's craft that. No scratches, all right. And... Yes, there we go. My best so work. You know, Real using day. some of our many, many ingredients now. Right, I think that was about it, wasn't... Well, actually, wasn't there something else we could have made, but we needed the right ingredients? Or am I thinking of something else? Might be thinking of something else. And... Right, new sword. Let's have a look. Ooh. That's an interesting looking uh, end to it. It's kind of forked. Like a snake tongue or something. That is a very nice looking handle as well. Right, oh. Goots has got a quest. Oh, again, I, I just... We'll chat to him later. We will do those later. I am going to go chat to Otto. After we've read the letter. And, uh, yeah, Suits freaking goblet's gonna be up there as well now. There it is. Pride of place on my little altar of memories. Love it. But yeah, I'm just really worried about Jill. I just really want Jill to be okay. Duty. Oh, very short letter. My Lord Marquis, in your absence shall I watch over my new charges, affording them every protection I am able. I only ask that you do the same for his grace. Uh, Yote. I really like her, by the way. I really want to learn more about her. In fact, let's quickly check the, uh... Okay, doesn't actually look like we've got anything new straight away. Obviously, we could go chat with Tomes. Mididol. God, isn't Mid just the best? She really is. But, um, not so much stuck in my mouth. Hmm. Just had a burger. So, uh... Oh yeah, Karen, what have you got that's new? Still alive, are ya? Barely. On, then. Oh yeah, we could have bought the rune blade, but... You know. Um... Oh, that's me selling stuff. Uh... Okay. Yeah, nothing new there. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. It was just probably the sword. Okay. No. Sorry, Karen. Right. Uh, and you know what? Oh, we'll quickly so check the orchestral roll, because we have got a few new All ones. Tet and Crow. Thinking about what to uh, play. Some banging tunes, right. We got... Uh, Roses are Rose. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sand and stone. Oh, it's Sora's faded form. I, think I, I really, yeah, I like that tune. We're going to have a bit of uh, three reeds music. Right. Oh, yeah, and I did say we could go check out one of the other chronoliths as well. So much to do, man. So much to do. Oh, Yote's here! Lord Marquis. You seem... unwell. I know His Grace has asked that I remain here with your people. But if you were to require my services, I could leave for the free cities at once. No, I, I, I'd rather you stay here, to be honest. It also, I think a big part of the reason I like her is because she is voiced by the same... Actress that plays Serena in Dragon Quest XI, and I just think she has the most wonderful voice. Anyway, right, let's have, let's just uh, kick off the next part duty? of the when story. Also, hello again. But if you're here, I've been here ages. Where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right, but it's a long story. Yeah, where's Dion? Otto, do you know where Dion is? You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins. Oh, good. Most of which ended up being used to build this place. 
The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Yeah, because we're trying to find the uh, the things that will help us fix up the Enterprise, aren't we? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Search Mid's dungeon. Find the missing piece. A song of hope. Are they going to address that Dion's no longer around? Where the heck's Ty as well? I'm sure they will address that soon. So I, f I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to go straight to the infirmary. But, uh... Yeah, he's definitely not there anymore. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, then... Then everyone in Port Isolde is in danger. Mm, everyone's in danger, I think. Do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? You saw that work of devilry on the deck, didn't you? The second fall of man is nigh. Devilry. Right, here we go. We'll see her then. Does Clive even know what to look for here? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Uh, you'll already have read it. I was gonna say, like, if this stuff's I'd in her workshop, looking. surely she would have seen it already. Oh, look at that little doll. Kind of looks like a white mage. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. <laughs> That's not going to be of any use to us. Um, continue searching Mid's dungeon. Yes, I will do. Um, let's check uh, in with Helena. Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. Excuse me? If Mid caught you rifling through her research, she'd have your head. Then mine for letting you. True, true. I would not want to get on the wrong side of mid. But still, this is my bloody this is my house, okay? She's just paying rent. Well, I don't think she's paying rent, but you know what I mean. That leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympics gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait! Oh yeah, forgot we did a quest for you. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. She's okay. She's all right. She's fine. Uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's the doll. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. What's this tucked inside it? Oh. Oh! Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to do his voice justice, so I'm just going to read this in my own. Middadol, I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. With a slight northern accent. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. And so when choosing this place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter's de uh, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. <laughs> Good luck! Ooh. Oh, mid. Mid. Got a riddle to solve. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. Ooh. So Sid hid something in mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Let's go ask him, shall we? This is fun. If Amber and the Lazarus... Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think we might go uh, chocobo hunting at some point in this video. Or session. Don't know how long I'm going to record for. I'm actually not feeling too great, so I want to get as much play today as possible just in case I'm out of action for a little, for a little while. Just a little bit headachey and a little bit, like, ugh, rough. Otto! Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. 
Unless you mean the orchestra. She couldn't oh. have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. She built that? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I do love a good treasure hunt, I must admit. I do love a good treasure hunt. Right, to the orchestrion, which we were just using. What a coinky dink. So a quick chat with you. Goodness, you're as pale as a poltergeist. Why don't you sit down and have a nice bowl of Molly's brown? Sounds like a wonderful idea, but I'm busy. I've got treasure to find. Who's that? Excuse me, lads. I'm gonna have to... I didn't break it. Oh. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Wow. Like this. Don't do it again. Have they accidentally solved the riddle to open up the thing? See? All too well. <laughs> all right, out of the way. Well, if it's already broken, I guess it doesn't matter if I uh, take it apart even more. this Sid's theme? They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. That's the start of Sid's theme, it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was... The stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Okay, well, whatever it is, we need it. What a fun little uh, adventure that was. Ooh, 45 renown as well. Excellent. I love Sid's theme in this game. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Yeah, she has. Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Damn. Should we go after him? No. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I wanted I'd to talk to him, though. So in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <laughs> uh, ask me when I get back. <laughs> though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. 
And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Okay. Well, at least they've addressed that now, because I was really wondering. Here, the further the flagship sails, I have to get back. Hmm. Right. So we got this story thing. Let's return to the Ironworks, which is, yeah, in Canva. Um, I think we'll take this opportunity, though, to go find this, uh, Chocobo. The Sickle. Where was the Sickle? They say it was in... It was near Canva, right? It was definitely near Canva, I think. Gilded Path. Local map. Let's have a look. Can I find the sickle? There's Titan's Wake. Ooh, we can go there now, anyway. Still can't go there, wherever that is. Oh, the sickle. Okay, right. So that's actually probably easier to just go to... Oh, you know what? That Smooth Light Butler quest is right near it. We might as well... You know what? Since we're going to be in the neighborhood, we might as well go do that one as well. Right, we're going to head to the jaw. We'll head to the jaw. See if we can find this chocobo. And uh, then we'll, we might as well do this quest since we're so close. Right, Ambrosia. Right, Ambrosia. Let's go find uh, a slightly less awesome chocobo, although I really do like the color of the of this chocobo in particular. Um, oh, I'm not looking great on potions. Just realized. This is a rank A as well, so it's going to be pretty tough. I should probably go buy some. I do have two elixirs, though. And I've got plenty of money. So I could replace those as well if I used them. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Freaking Republican War Panther just chilling in in the in the cave. Oh Whoa! Leave me alone. That is so pink. That is so pink. Wait, have I gone the? No, we're going the right way. Right, the sickle. It's got to be there, right? Oh no, that's the cattery. We've already had a, t had a hunt there. I wonder. Definitely did say the sickle. So maybe, maybe it'll be hanging around here. It's just usually... Hill. Oh, Hill Gigas is it here? Okay. Maybe it's there? I don't want to fight you. Because usually they're, they're in a place where it's pretty obvious that there would be something. That's just a bunch of goblins. That ain't what we're after. Leg eater. Definitely did say the sickle, right? Hmm. I I don't see any chance unless it's where the last hunt used to be. That's possible, I suppose. Let's have a look. No, I don't I don't see any chocobos. I might have to. Enough of you are there. I might have to, uh... I have no idea where it would be. Maybe there? Is that technically still the You know what? Yeah, let's check that out. Sorry, guys. This is, uh, probably... a big old waste of time. Oh, man. It's so weird how the, the chocobos in this game control. Like, they, they turn... They really do feel like cars. It's weird. Although, the thing is, I'm, I'm worried that maybe this uh, Chocobo only turns up once you've killed some other enemies, maybe. No holding back. Do, 
Let's have a look over here. Maybe... Bingo. There we go. What a beautiful bird that is. What an absolutely beautiful bird. That is gorgeous. Let's kill it. Dread Comet. Okay. Right. Let's get comfortable. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. I did not mean to do Giga Flare, but all right. I can't dodge. Oh, okay. That was weird. <laughs> that kick. Right, does he think it's going to have any projectiles? Oh, okay. It certainly peck me. Choco Meteor. Oh, I was hoping that that would be this projectile, but I think I did that too late. That kick! Oh, crap. There we go. Ah, now the thing is it doesn't have a stagger bar, so... Whoa! Ah, Choco Meteor. Whoa! Which is a great callback, by the way. Great callback. Right, let's, uh... Might as well limit break. Right, yep, dodge that, okay. This is the problem, when you can't stagger them, it's, uh... It's a very different kind of feel to the fight. Because you don't really have anything you're aiming for, you don't have a, a moment where you can really punish them. Oh, balls. Okay, okay. I'll use, I'll use my last potion. Shit. Okay. You can flare. Because that does so much damage. Look at that. 60 hits. Help me, boy. Choco Meteor Rain. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, crap. Dude. Oh. Shitting hell. That's mental. That's mental. Yeah, just jump over him. It's actually easier to jump over him. Dude. You stop doing that. Because good lord, that was... That was something else. Oh, Christ! There's a good boy. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. It got me. Oh, that's so annoying. We were so close, too. Okay. We're gonna give that another go. I think. Well, we won't be able to really block and punish. Oh, God, where's it taking me? Okay, not that far away. I'm just thinking maybe we could, like, would I be able to hover over those as Bahamut? We can give it a go. We can give it a go, because that would be awesome, actually. Leaving so soon, Mythos? <laughs> Holy it's the king. Oh. 